Welcome back, companions, to the Lucky Die. Previously, Damas deals with his sister, Lafian sees chances to exploit, Ral goes to the people he needs, Squash receives a blessing, and Zoltana invigorates her first paladin. Joining the residents of Falsum, the Lodge, Savras's army, Army of the Triad, and the Army of the Dawn, our team helps to protect those performing the ritual to close another portal. Half of them in the physical plane, half of them in Cicero, the battle rages on. Will the portal be closed? Can Rao keep Emil alive for Amos' sake? And will everyone make it home alive? I guess we're about to find out. Welcome back to the Lucky Die. just had Lafians go we just yes. had squash save the failure on the other side back on the material plane the reflective angel looks at Damas once again they lunge forwards uh, they lunge forwards they put their hands on your shoulders and try to bite into your throat so let's give this a shot well shit 26 versus your armor class yep Cool, great. You take 27 piercing damage. And as she pulls her face back, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I misread her multi tack also includes reconfiguring curse. Oh, Jesus. 18. You save. I'm on Zoltana's aura, aren't I? Yes. So, 19. You save you are immune to her using this on you again. So now she'll turn her attention to someone else. All right, cool. That was her go. And now it is on to the ethereal sand angel. I don't like where this is going. Does anybody in this side speak celestial? Ooh. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought I might, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love the build up suspense. That was amazing. Wait, doesn't Cal? Cal does, right? Hmm. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah, Cal, Cal does. Cal convert it quick enough. No, because they're doing it in battle. Um, okay. They. It kind of sounds like a very musical language, um, like harps and all that good stuff going off. And she points at the receptionist. She turns and she faces away from where Lafian is standing towards Sultana and Damas. And incidentally, also the receptionist. She takes a deep breath in and she will cast her scouring, her scouring winds again. Um, so a blast of hot wind containing sand, 30 foot line. Goes out from her, and I need everyone in line to make a constitution saving throw. So that's basically Damaz and Zoltana, and I will give one to Trempal as well. <laughs> Unless you're willing to take the damage and you, Trempal doesn't take a fail. Yep. <laughs> okay, you're doing that. Perfect. Um, in that case, you will you will definitely fail one roll. <laughs> I just need to figure out whether... Your, how much damage you're taking. All right, so, uh, Damas, what did you get on your save? Uh, 10. Wow. That's bad. Bruh. Mm. Bruh. That's real bad. Okay, Zoltana, what it did was, you get? It was con, right? Yes, please. 12. Plus your aura, which is 15? Yeah. All right, you succeed. Damas fails. 
Sultana. With a success, you take 11 damage. Since you don't have any resistances in play that is obvious to you, I'm just going to pretend that doesn't exist. Uh, Damaz, you take 22 fire damage because you're taking uh, 22 damage because you're taking it for Trempel, so he doesn't fail. Mm-hmm. And you also take 22 damage because you failed. Okay, but it's fire damage, so I'm resisting. Okay, in that case, you just take 22 straight damage then. Wow. All right. Addition to this, because you failed your Constitution saving throw. You are blinded for a minute. Hmm. But that does mean you, you'll you have a success. Hooray? Yeah. <laughs> I fight f- the success came at a high price. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't know what you're worrying about. <laughs> okay. You only need one more success for this portal to be shut down. Is that blinding <coughs> effect? Is that a concentration thing or like a save at he the end of the turn type thing? Blinded. Uh... Yeah, you can resist it, yes. A uh, blinded creature repeats the saving throw at the end of each turn. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, basically, you would have been blinded regardless <laughs> because you took the full damage for the other one. Um, okay, that's the end of the angel's go. It is now Damas's go. Screw it. Uh, Damas's eyes are all like burned up and full of sand and fucked. Uh, <laughs> so he's just going to raise his hand to his eyes mm-hmm. and cast... Lesser restoration, so he's no longer blind. Perfect, no longer blind. As you do this, um, like your hand glows a little bit red, and the sands disappear. And Zoltana, for a moment, like your eyes feel really itchy, and then they're fine. Trying to see if there's anything I can do usefully as a bonus action. Uh, I, don't know. I was gonna say it would be very, very funny to be able to cast divine favor on my own god, but. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's solid. <laughs> but instead, I'm going to have to... Uh, screw it. I'm going to throw a uh, Hunter's Mark. <laughs> on, Which one? On um, on the Sandfucker. <laughs> okay, great. Um, a pair of wolf fangs appear above her head and you see the blood kind of drip onto like her hair and then it disappears. It is marked. That's pretty much all I can do. <laughs> all right, Zoltana. The reflection angel is looking rough. The sandy looking angel is also really rough. Uh, I'm going to do some... I'm I'm also not looking great, so I'm going to do a solid 20 lay on hands to myself. Okay. That's an action, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. There are so things you shouldn't see your god doing. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, it's not like that. It's This is not the Divinals. I'm not, like, Damas, touching myself. Damas, brother of mine, get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> Watch out, I'll remix it. <laughs> <laughs> He's done I, it before, by Joe. <laughs> I dare you. Do it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, you place hands upon yourself and you are healed for 20. And then I'm going to use my bonus to divine to divine wrath. Nice. The aura of vengeance is strong. Damn as being mere feet from the god who is this. It's almost infectious. You see the rage in her face. You feel it coming off her in waves. It's it's inspiring being next to your god when she's in a fucking rage. Um, there we go. Okay. Oh yeah, hey Casey, so you should sh- probably inspire Damas next time he needs to do something. <laughs> you are right. I should do that. <laughs> yeah, but let's say this is a really good point to say you have an inspiration. <laughs> So yeah, you can take one out of your pool and give it to Damas now. That's totally fine. I will do that. All right. Is that the end of Zoltana's go? Definitely. Great. Okay. Um, Ral. What is around me posing danger on this side of the portal? There are... On this side of, of the portal... There are still a fair amount of those angelic creatures, like covens of them, lots of them. Um, Landed in front of you is three of the angel-looking things. Um, There's two of the blood, 
And there's one of the sand. And there's also a phoenix. Shit, I can't. And they're like right up on us already, huh? Yeah, they're kind of um, almost almost as if the portal is a mirror. You have the people surrounding um, Emil Scott who are protecting him, squash included, with a, a really large arrow bolt through his, you know, his kind of like shoulder area. Um, but there are also like these three angels and the phoenix that have landed sort of just in front of that. Okay, so like Hour of Reaping's really not going to do anything to save us time at this point if they're like fighting us. Uh, I shouldn't have thought so. They can also fly, yeah. So quite a lot of these creatures, I think you would have worked out before, are immune to the fear, frightened thing. Oh. Uh, just because of the, the nature of the creatures that they are. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm just going to throw that and give that out to you. Like, um, Yeah, punch. Okay. Uh, I still have Divine Flavor. Do not have uh, the <sighs> other thing. So... Okay. These are just normal attacks. Okay. And I will go after one of the... <sighs> How fucking scary does the phoenix look? Um, this particular phoenix is orange and purple. Um, they look like they're here to do business. Okay. Um, and it's an unfriendly one for sure. <laughs> yes. And does it look like if I punch it, I'll regret that? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to say the only one who can make that decision is Ralph. Okay. <laughs> Are you asking how hot this thing is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> On oh, a scale so 1 hot. to 10, V, how hot is it's it? It's fucking hot. Um, okay, yeah. Like Caden r- or nah? It's like, it's, like a, yeah, it's like an 8 or a 9 mm. in the back end. Though. It's, it's hot. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that just yet. I want to do some damage uh, to the angels. I will fight this sand one because I just move from one to another, I guess. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fuck it. Fair comment. Fair. Here we go. That's an 18. Okay. Does that... Do I need to roll... Sorry, yes, that hit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, because I have divine flavor. <laughs> I had a complete I need to roll. mind melt. <laughs> yes, that's yes, a D fours. Okay, so that's 19 on that hit. Okay, blimey. Uh, that's a 19 for 16 damage. Yes. Ooh, uh, 14. That's a fail. And then I'll spend. Oh, yeah, I'll spend a key point. Oh shit, for a 12. Yeah, that's a fail no, also. No good. You get two solid hits in on the sand, but every time you go to punch, like the third and the fourth time, the sand kind of like parts around you and just reforms. Um, yeah, I mean, you did some good damage there. Uh, like, it's not bad. Yeah. 19 okay. I mean, and I think that's 16. It. So, 35. Okay. Um, it's looking looking unhappy. But no, it did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, that was Ralph's go. Squash. I don't know. <laughs> I can't take another hit like that. Nope. Do you have any potions? Not in my inventory. Then you do not. Ooh, I have an idea. If you're open up. Mm-hmm. Why don't you try readying an action and do what Benno did? So if an arrow comes flying towards you guys, you try to shoot out of the air too. That sounds ludicrous. I love it. <laughs> sure, you ready an action for the next bolt to come through the air. I'm not going to lie, this is going to be a difficult challenge. <laughs> I guess the real question is, um, would I know this? If we succeed on a check, is the portal gone? The portal will close. I will give you exactly six seconds to get out. Right, right, right. Okay, you give me the six seconds. Uh, yeah, like it doesn't close instantly. It was a slow, not that you would know, but mm-hmm. for everyone else, it was a slow enough close on the last one that when um, Titus was frozen in place, it gave time Trevor to turn around, shrug his shoulders, and then jump through the portal. I mean, he is a gnome, a much smaller, but... <laughs> oh, you're a halfling, so it's even easier for you. And you're faster. All right. Yeah. I'm also, yeah. All right, uh, then. 
yeah, Squash is just gonna take aim and... Yeah, I don't have anything to defend him with. I have nothing. You have your body. Yeah, but my body's already under 50% of its health. And oh, that okay. last attack was more than half my health. So... Ooh. Yeah, there's there's no way I can actually take that one again, okay. and I'm not gonna try to get Ral to carry my limp body through the fucking portal. I have disadvantage on the check to get to the other side of the portal <laughs> when it closes. You do? So Why? you should you yeah. should not rely yeah. on me to get back. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, I have exhaustion. Right, right, right. Uh, okay, okay, I will refer you fired a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. Oh sh- shoot! I should have. Uh, how much damage did you do? 42? 44 in total. Yeah, that we made it a difficulty save of 22 to keep the fairy fire going. You can try it? No, I literally can't. Uh, oh, okay. Then you fail. Yeah, <laughs> fairy fire is down. Yeah, it's down. All right. Then I'm, yeah, I'm just readying an action to fire a bolt out of the air. Uh, okay. There's nothing else I can do. I mean, you saw Benno do it with a bow. <laughs> you have a crossbow. You have a little bit of an easier time. <laughs> uh, I guess. I-, I do have a bunch of feats that should be helping this. I've got crossbow expert and sharpshooter. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Yeah, that, we'll take that into account when that comes. All right, all right. Sharpshooter? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I took it because it loads, allows me to ignore health cover and I get rid of my uh, disadvantage at long range. So my crossbow is technically just off 60 foot range permanently. He took it to be a dick. <laughs> there is no I'm just way. surprised you no. haven't done any of the minus five plus ten thing oh it's just has in like I got it before the fight with Glen Gareth and in that fight and in this fight nothing has felt low enough AC worth that's to fair. do it that's fair okay Laffian ha- oh fuck yeah it is my turn shit yeah <laughs> oh god <sighs> we're in a bit of a pickle bunch of peeps are in a bunch of bad ways I'm not gonna lie and I, I think I said this before we started this fight back in the last episode the ending of this fight is gonna be rough yep. so we're only rolling to see whether the portal is successful or not yep that's yep I feel like it's bad if I keep doing the same thing and over over and over again but it works well well aren't some of your companions on low I health I still have a lot of side points left uh yeah, the more of this shit that we kill, the easier it's going to be later. All right, so uh, Lafian one more time is going to urge his friends to uh, continue to fight on and use his overwhelming attack. All right, Damas, go. And the nice thing is you're not blind anymore. Over sword, still two, still two fucks, yeah? Yeah, two, yep. two, two, still two fucks to give, yes. Okay, um, Please kill Jesus these things. Jesus fucking Christ. Please kill things. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, yeah. So the first one was a 31 to hit. Yeah. For 20. Uh, dealing 20 damage. Do you want to smite? No, I'm going to save this one. Okay. And uh, so that's just a nice flat 20. Mm-hmm. And then one on to the... Oh, you're going to hit the Sam one this time? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure I put Hunter's Mark on that one. Yes, you did. Is yeah. a 31 a crit for you? Nope. No. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. 16 on the sand one I think is a fail uh, a yes it's a hit. fail it uh, fails, fails. Okay. yeah so you get one solid attack in and as you turn to the other one the sand just kind of parts around your sword as it goes through the air uh, okay Sultana uh, I am rage you are rage you are rage incarnate I'm gonna... oh damn it you could have used your inspiration yeah I was just I hadn't made a note of it so yeah I've done it on Do it. my yeah. phone over there Yes, I will try that shit again. Yeah, that's better. 25 to hit. Sorry, the word of Zoltana reminded me that you had inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Case. <laughs> uh, that's 25 to hit and 17 damage. Yeah, and... Is this on the reflect on the sand one? Yes, it is, yeah. isn't it? Uh, as close throw... as Damas is to swearing, how do you end this one? Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not going not gonna to make you waste your smite. Like, it's clearly yeah. obviously she's about um, to kick it. I'm just gonna blast my like my, my big old like blazing holy sword through it and like um, just like a, a straight cut through the midriff <laughs> and like a and a channel of of um, like crystallized glass just hits the ground on either side. 
Oh, that's so rad. And with this, like, the morning sun hitting it, like, the sparks and lights go absolutely everywhere. It's like a disco on your side. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, cool. That's one down. Um, Sultana, there is one of them left in your vicinity. Cool. Coo, coo, coo. Do the smacks. I'm, I'm doing the smacks. I'm just looking at what I get extra. So the first smacks is 16, and the second smacks is 12. Let me see where the 15. 16 hits. Sorry, yeah, 15. 16 and 15. Uh, 15 fails and 16 fails. Thought it, thought it might. I'm going to use... I have an inspiration. You do. I'm going to use You that. have an inspiration. Yeah. From your spectacular speech. That one hits in a 25. Yep. Damn, that, that definitely hits. Um, so from just eyeing that 19. 19 damage. Mm-hmm. She was also one hit point off of Kenny. And then you two I'm are like do really close to getting level. this. You first do not need to item. smite. Oh, I don't? You okay. do not need to smite. She had one hit point left. Oh. You got yours down to one hit point. Dam has got his down to one hit point. So how do you <laughs> want to kill this one? This is the reflective one who made your first paladin uh, real but ugly. Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to cut her head off. <laughs> All right, short, simple, to the point. Her head spins off of your blade add and one to uh, your, hits the uh, ground. Kalimorn. Add one, add one to Kalimorn, yeah. And make a note that it's the uh, the reflection angel. Yes. All right, badasses, uh, you have managed to clear your area. Um, it is now Ral's go on the other side. Um. <sighs> Yeah, we need mages for these fights. You can only attack twice. <laughs> Your mage is out of mana. <laughs> I can only attack twice? Yeah. yeah, you can only attack twice. But you can key point them, I believe. The stunning strike, yeah. Why can I only attack twice? What happened to me? I'm doing I'm doing my attack thingy again. Yeah. Oh, it's not even... Okay. This is still my yeah, turn. It's not, Fuck, yeah, I it's hate still... this. <laughs> I know, I hate it so much. I'm like, well, let's start from the top of my bed down again. Let's start from the top of my uh. bed down again. <laughs> 25. Damn. Yes, that hits. <laughs> Damn. For 14 damage. Okay, so that's 14 and 9. Uh, the 12 doesn't hit. So yeah, just so just damage. 14 damage. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's, could be worse. <laughs> um, squash. Are you still keeping your action ready? Okay, I want to make the point that I definitely bonus action hit last turn. <laughs> Do you want to hide behind a mill, Scott? <laughs> no. Like, I guess. Like, I'm, it would I'm, be doable. He can't, literally cannot move, otherwise he'll stop casting the spell. So you could just hide behind him. So your back is to the portal and he is in front of you. I guess, I guess, yeah. All right. And uh, uh, Raul has been like beating up one of the like big old creatures back there. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire at the same thing. Okay. If I hit a sneak attack, it's 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 fucking brutal. Plus, I'm hidden, so I get an advantage. Sure, sure. Come on. That's a 17. What is happening? That's an advantage. It's on the sand one. Let me see where the 17 is. I don't think it does. Nope. Uh, no. Sorry. Well, it's it's good that I wasted it on this. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, then that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Laugh, do you want to do anything for your bonus action? Uh, restore more health. Okay, sure. Restore your more health. All right. I'm almost back to Portal full. team. Ral, I'd like you to roll a d4, please. Oh, no. Four. Success. Okay. The angel team on the other side are dead. So it's a success. The portal shimmers and lets out an explosion of force. All of those that came from Cicero on the other side begin to suffer and scream in agony. Many of them take to the air and either fly away or fly back through the portal, which is now rapidly closing. Squash and Ral, I need you both to make an acrobatics or an athletics. This is to get you back through the portal. And yes, you can be stuck on this side. But don't panic. There are allies on your side who may be able to pick up your slack. What is Emil doing? I need him to go on to the other side. 
this portal. Emil is holding the um, the bracelet in place, and he has to hold it in there until the absolute last second. And he is kind of frozen in place, but that doesn't mean you can't pick him up and push him through. <laughs> he just might break an arm, but don't worry about that. Uh, let me see. Can I try to help them? No, I'm afraid not. I didn't hear anything you said. I meant sister, I can't hear you all the way over here. <laughs> okay, what were you saying? <laughs> I initially said no, but I want to I wanna ask what you're thinking. Um, what I'm thinking is I have an ability that lets me uh, spend side points and I can like essentially help my allies move. Is it a reaction? Um, no. Then no. Um, Rawl is going to use a key point to mm-hmm. get as much speed as he can to yeah. kind of burst his energy a little bit because he's tired. <laughs> um, and he's going to get to Emil Scott and try to like position it to where Emil Scott, he's not like disturbing his hands or anything, but he can like uh-huh. grab him by the waist and st- slowly start like guiding him backwards, like dragging him almost so he can focus while I'm kind of bringing oh, yeah, him closer. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, I want to yeah, drag kind of him like, essentially. If you, yeah, if you kind of like step in front of him, you can grab his waist and pull him through so his arms are still holding the bracelet until the absolute last moment and yes, then you can pull him that through. That is ideal. Okay, um, in that case, I'm going to need you to make a strength check it's because be so you bad. are using your... Uh, I'm going to need you to make a strength check because you are literally dragging him through. Yeah, it's not going to be good. Acrobatics is so good and I have disadvantage, but... I sorry, have I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so bad. Athletics. Oh, yeah, it's a disadvantage. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Acrobatics might have been okay, but athletics is a plus zero <laughs> versus a plus nine. With disadvantage, it's an 18. I rolled two oh 18s. Oh my god. You motherfucker. Fuck. Okay. You jump through the portal and you grab hold of his waist and kind of like begin to pull him through. So you kind of get his legs and the most of his like um, like lower torso. It's kind of in that point where it's literally just going to take one pull from you and he will be through. But you're awesome. obviously going to leave it to the last minute. All right, uh, squash. Well, I'm going to try to acrobatics the fuck out of there. Okay. That is a 23. Why do we even ask? You're a goddamn rogue. You just like Because I backwards. can still roll a one. <laughs> That's true. I live for that. No, you don't. You have luck. You're a half. You could roll one twice in a row. Oh. We, did you see my rolls earlier? What was it? A two, yeah, a three, good. and an that eight, and a six? I was well happy by those. <laughs> yeah, you kind of like, you do whatever it is you do to get back through the portal. I'd like to say that Squash is just like nimbly. Um, I'm assuming there are other mortals that that are like kind of shoving themselves through. Yeah, there's a lot of people realizing that this has gone down. Like you feel that bump of energy, um, even on the uh, Cicero side. It's not enough to like drive anyone back, but it is enough to say, yeah, this is about to close. Yeah. Um, and I think Squash basically just uses the kind of like. Um, his natural size to his advantage and he's just slinking through gaps that people wouldn't normally be able to get through. <laughs> okay, uh, um, so you have a meal Scott through. You will have him, I promise you that. All right, let's do this. Elise. Uh, Elise sees what is happening and she makes a run and a jump. There's a bit of a, bit of a trip, but she makes it through the portal. Ooh. All right, <sighs> Benno. Why do I even bother? Like, Benno is ridiculous at this fucking bullshit acrobatics. Benno basically calmly walks through the pool like he doesn't care. Son of a bitch. All right, um, who else do we have on it? We have Bogrim on this side. Bogrim, okay. please. Ah! I dropped the dice! No, Bogrim! Natural one! No, I'm joking. Bogrim. <laughs> we used to have the fumble if it hits the deck, you're screwed. <laughs> Bogrim takes a run but he stumbles and no. he stumbles hard oh, yep he stumbles hard he stumbles hard and he hits the deck the only other person left here is Caden Caden okay Caden is hmm. now if he runs he'll make it well he may make it uh, let me see what his strength is Caden please oh Caden is like the, the king of king of strength um, okay he will attempt to get Bogrim. 
All right, so I'm going to make the check. Where is Talus in all this? Who knows? <laughs> Way in Cicero. <laughs> you see him turn around like, Talus, it's the time to go! And then like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not putting them in danger. Cadence turns and sees that Bogrim has fallen to the floor. He runs, and as he does, he lets go of his weapon so he has a better grip on Bogrim, who is a big, hefty dwarf. He grabs him by the back of the waist and propels him through the portal. All right, now I've just got to do one more check to see if Caden gets out. Please? Please? Uh, I'm going to keep on on the strength track because him flipping is stupid. Um, that's never going to happen. No, V, no. I know I'm making the face. I'm sorry. Does anyone have anything they think could help? I give him inspiration. Okay, I'll take it. I give up my one inspiration as I'm like <laughs> yelling Caden's name to get out of there. Yeah, you see him grab Bogrim, you see him step up and he just falls face first. Um, yeah. he. Caden, <laughs> come on! You see the portal shrink and you see Emil pulled through. And the portal closes. No, Katie! We're getting him back. We're getting him back. Okay. Kaden is on the do not kill list, V. He's not on the do not kill list. He's on I'm the just do not saying, kill. like, someone else we know. He's stuck in Cicero. <laughs> <sighs> We're getting him back. Okay. Out of now here comes the part where I have to be honest about how the end of this fight goes and I need you to consider the situation that you are in you are surrounded yes by celestials that are beginning to flee the site but not all of them have you are surrounded by thousands of undead orcs yes there are many armies trying to make their way towards you there are many people on your side but the portal has also gone now do you stay and help them fight what's coming, i.e. get rid of the undead orcs that are here, or do you flee? This does not have to be a group decision. You can all do different things, but it will affect the overall perception of this fight. Damas, do you stay or do you go? Um, I'm not good anywhere. Fan fucking tastic. All right, Lafian, are you staying or are you trying to leave? You staying? Okay. Ral, are you staying or are you going? I have Emil Scott by the waist. <laughs> yes, you do. You can, of course, run away with him. There is also <laughs> Bogrim here. There is also like a bunch of other people that could help you get him out. I do still have the gate up. Yes, so the gate would be like what I term like the quick exit. There are consequences for doing both, so. You could just throw him through the gate. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Someone will catch him on the other side. <laughs> Is he still frozen? No, he's uh, now that he's back on this side, like you like his his arms are like really damaged because of like the angle that Rail had to pull him. Ah. But yeah, he's for the most part okay. Okay. Uh Rawl will I guess get in a defensive stance and make sure that uh, Emil can get out if he wants to, but I'm not going to force anyone to do anything. So Ross not really super strong. Okay. He's already <laughs> exhausted <laughs> himself. Okay, he stays. Emil is a spellcaster. He could be helpful. Squash. Do you stay or do you go? <sighs> I'm not going to lie, the odds do not look in anybody's favour. Staying is costly. I think uh, Squash looks down. Um, I got hit by an arrow pretty hard. Did you decide on where? Yeah, I decided your leg. Yeah. He looks down at the, like, wound, like, open wound that he probably has there. He looks at the portal and heavily debates where to go. How many people are in the ring? How many people are there? Uh, there's probably nearly a dozen people that you would kind of know or be associated with. They are in this area and they would have to like continue fighting outwards. Um, 
the ring of protection is quite large because you managed to keep the gate open the entire time. Mm. So there's there's a fair amount of reinforcements here, but there are still a lot of enemies. He trains his hand crossbow on the first enemy you can see. Okay, he stays. That's a very brave decision. Sultana. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm staying. <laughs> I felt like it wasn't even a question with you. <laughs> Why are you even asking me? You know. I know. I know. I know in my heart you are. You will never leave this fight. Okay. You are all about to suffer an extreme amount of damage. But I will give you the good news first. The army is 100%. Bikron's army is 100% right now. Your choice to stay means that you saved 10% of the army plus a d20. Sorry, plus D10, there's five of you. If you had left, you would have guaranteed lost 10% of that army, plus a D10. Okay. I want everybody to roll a D10, plus 10. And we'll figure out how much of the army you guys managed to save. Alafian, how much of the army did you save? 12. 12%. Zoltana, how much of the army did you save? 20 Damn. Damas, how much of the army did you save? Uh, 15. Ral, how much of the army did you save? 12. And Squash? 12. Damn. Yeah. All right. I really suck at math. I don't know why I decided to do this to myself. <laughs> do you want Three, me to do four, the five, addition six. for you? 76%. You saved over three quarters of the army by staying. That's real good. That means your resources when you come to the final fight with the Blissful Eclipse is going to be that much more. However, that does come at as, as a cost. And rather than role-playing through an entire battle, rather than role-playing through absolutely every minute detail of a fight, because, thank God, we've just had like a two-and-a-half-hour fight and I do not want to do this initiative bullshit again... I'm going to have everyone roll damage against themselves based on their level and based on their hit dice. And at the end of it, if you are conscious or if you are unconscious, we will just describe that moment. Okay, Damaz. You need to roll, because you're a paladin of a higher level, 18d10 plus 36. Shit. This is when I should have laid on hands for 90. Oh, well. <laughs> Too late now. Yeah. This is basically going to be assuming that everyone's using their, oh, I'm healing myself stuff, or, you know, this is basically I'm not going through fighting 4,000 orcs. And it's exceptionally boring. 120. Are you unconscious? Nope. All right. <laughs> Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Wow. Just. <laughs> How just? Four. Oh, as close as damn as this is to swearing how no. do you knock yourself no I'm joking I'm joking <laughs> holy crap alright Damaz, describe a very heroic thing that you do <laughs> like you are literally surrounded by undead orcs around celestials of any type that you have surrounded by all the armies of Bikron that have mustered here in Falsam describe a heroic thing you do and it can be anywhere over the next hour and a half that this fight will probably take um, okay. Uh, as the portal closes, uh, <laughs> Damas grasps his sword by the blade, <laughs> about halfway down, mm-hmm. uh, and rams it into the ground, um, granting everyone around him access to all of his rage and pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, with a crusader's mantle and everyone starts bursting into rage flame <laughs> fantastic uh, this core bubble of people uh, the defenders around just all get covered in yeah divine flaming rage <laughs> okay <laughs> okay that is remembered as the damas moment okay mm. yeah, the he fights the rest the of the battle half sorting with his hand on the blade <laughs> that's so gross I fucking love it okay uh, next alphabetically is Lafian. Hi. I need you to roll 11d8 plus 22. 
11d8 plus 22. Ooh, that's a lot. That's 76. Are you unconscious? Yep. Okay. How do you go unconscious? What takes you down? And it can be a heroic thing. It doesn't have to be like in the lines of D&D stupid rules where you can't do something heroic. What takes you down? Um, I'm going to say that uh, during the fight, he's been uh, throwing out... Uh, well, his ability is called detonation, but essentially he's been throwing out fiery explosions into the masses. Uh-huh. Um, and just while he's fighting, he draws too much attention to himself with that firepower, and uh, some spears come get thrown at him, and he eventually just gets peppered by them. I like the idea that even down, like, on one knee, he's still chucking out some of these, like, detonations. <laughs> okay, cool. Um... You fall unconscious. I will deal with your unconsciousness when we've determined everybody else's fate. Okay. Okay. Next alphabetically, I think is Ral. Yes, Ral. I need you to roll eleven d eight plus twenty two. Ooh. Uh oh. Seventy nine. <laughs> is that enough to knock you unconscious? Uh, not even the first time, V. And then you'd have to knock me out seven more times with key points. <laughs> this is assuming that you're like maxing out all of your like key pointy goodness. So even things like um, Damas is being knocked down to zero point and getting back up again, like I, that doesn't that won't count in this. Um, but you're not unconscious. No. All right. Describe something where you. Describe how you help someone. Describe how I help someone. Yeah. Like you're in the middle of the fight and you see something going down. What do you do to help someone who looks like they're about to be killed? Yeah, Rawl is staying close to everybody because I said he was taking a defensive stance. Um, yes, yep. And anything that grabs onto anyone, he's basically like... Uh, if anyone, anything grabs onto like Bogram or... Uh, ML, he will mm -hmm. focus on that. He's definitely defending everybody. And um, otherwise, it's a lot of endurance because Rawl is not having a good time with the dead things. <laughs> he just looks like a mess. He's bleeding everywhere right. and he looks almost dead himself. Yeah, he looks real rough by the time the last orc, uh, undead orc, apologies, half orc, um, it goes down. Okay, uh, next alphabetically would be Squash. I'm just going to tell you, whatever number you tell me, uh, it's going to knock me out automatically, I think. <laughs> you just don't know. Uh, it's 12d8 plus 24. It's 24? Yeah. Well, the 24 knocks me out. Then you're unconscious. <laughs> How do you go unconscious? Like, again, yeah, imagine this fight is very, very long. You can be where you want and how you want, like... How do you go unconscious? I think Squash uh, stays in the middle of the, the big circle for as long as he can. Mm -hmm. But through attrition, the circle starts breaking down and it becomes a, more of a skirmish, a clash. Mm -hmm. And it's um, in Squash's like, nature that just as soon as he sees like three or four orcs come at him, he just starts running and trying to sneak and hide and uh, get himself uh, hidden. Mm -hmm. And as he's found himself in an area where he feels comfortable, he starts shooting again, and just he can like kind of just hear uh, like the cracking of bones behind him, mm -hmm. and it's just an orc that he missed, and he just gets knocked out, uh, like broadside of a sword, club, or just rammed through. It's just over for him. Okay. Pathetic, uh, like, like uh, not pathetic. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, like. Pitiful, like he's mm -hmm. just running away, trying his goddamn best not to go down. It just doesn't work. Okay. Sultana. Yes. I need you to roll 11d10. Okay. Plus 22. Cool. Nope. <laughs> Close. <laughs> yeah, I'm knocked out. How'd you get knocked out? Zoltana is has been like rushing orcs and just left and right uh, slashing them down and then like 
but she's getting real banged up and then there's just like this one real real big guy and uh she's like it's like that anim you know like that anime moment or something where like the hero's like real real beat down and they're like looking up like one eye's closed because there's blood dripping in it and they're looking up at like the enemy and she makes like one final rush and uh he just knocks her to the side with a mace and like continues on and it just that's what knocks her out he, he kind of like just steps over her like she's nothing and keeps walking yeah oh damn nice okay during the fight somebody asked me where Talus was Talus Rondi Zach and Rosita which is Zach's mother have been hanging around with Yellen and Claws on Claws there is a weird looking device something that Talus has been putting together as the fight progresses as Lafian goes down He hears the roar of an undead bear. He doesn't know how, but he wakes up comfortable back in the barracks. As Sultana goes down, she feels angelic wings, one of someone she's very familiar with, and one that she freed from chains. She doesn't know how, she doesn't know why, but she wakes up back in the barracks in Fasum. Squash, you're a little harder because you're tiny. You don't have quite the same connections that everybody else does. But you don't know how and you don't know why. But you wake up conscious in the barracks in Fausen. And the area that was burnt when Demi touched you glows red for just the moment and hurts. And then completely disappears Damas and Raoul from your perspective it took a long time a really long time for this fight to end eventually all the armies gather together they pick up their dead and take them away there's no raucous celebration there's nothing it's midday it's hot The undead are disgusting. But those that survived pick up their dead and take them away. Very few, one in four maybe, had fallen. And you make your way back to Falsum as Talus, Demi, and a few of the other former chain angels take our fallen companions back to Falsum. It's a couple of hours later but all of you are conscious. Those of you who went down have a singular hit point and assume that everybody is out of resources. What do you want to do? Sleep. (laughs) Oh, yeah, definitely sleep. (laughs) Waking up seeing that we're alive and people are assumably okay, he just rolls back over and, like... I'm going to say, like, he doesn't sleep since he's an elf, but, like, he essentially, like, passes the fuck out into, like... A dream space? Mm-hmm. It's definitely possible for elves in this world to actually obtain sleep and dreams. It's difficult. But I think being knocked out in an epic battle, I think <laughs> you deserve some sleepy time. <laughs> All right, Lafian is going back to sleep, Sultana. I'm also going back to sleep. Cool. Um, you dream of good things. You dream of happy things. Of comfortable things. And you wake up, eventually when you wake up much, much later, you feel very refreshed. Uh, Squash. I'm in the barracks. Yeah. Uh, Squash is going to get his ass over to the temple. Okay. He just gets on one of the pews and gets in meter, yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. He just gets in one of the pews and... He like looks at his hand, which still has the string he's tied around his hand in mm-hmm. memory of um, Adet. Adet, and just slowly loses consciousness in a kind of a knelt position. Yeah, like leaning against the pew. Back to sleep. Ral, you have been fed potions and healed. 
You're at the point where you can function just above bloody. I don't want you wandering around the inside of Falsam Temple deluded. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do, Ral? Uh, I think Ral's pretty traumatized by all the undead things and mm-hmm. just still kind of shaken. Um, I think it would be hard for him to like go to sleep, even though he is exhausted. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think he kind of bundles himself up somewhere and uh, then goes uh, into T.O. and does T.O. time. Okay. And uh, yeah, but he's not going to be able to get much sleep. That's that's understandable. Um, being in T.O. is definitely less painful than being in Ra. Damas, anything you want to do? Before going back to Falsam, uh, Damas is going to make sure that Cal wasn't left on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Uh, in that case, when Zoltana wakes up, like Calimorn is like on the bed next to her. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to touch Fair. Cal. <laughs> He's very aware this is a very dangerous object. Mm-hmm. So, We've dealt uh, with dangerous weapons before, for sure. Yeah. He's going to make sure that, that Squash is recovered from the battlefield and he's going to find Cal. And, uh... Uh, yeah, Damas, Damas would notice that Demi had found Squash. Um, mm. She couldn't heal him, but she did manage to stabilise him. Yeah. He's going to uh, uh, wrap Cal up in the, uh, in the surcoat and bring it back. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> so much appreciation and love right now. <laughs> It, 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 it wouldn't do, <laughs> you know, for the first great, you know, battle of a newly risen god to be wasted, to be ruined. The story would be terrible if she, they lost their sacred weapon. I would like to ask, do you think that Damaz would have seen the big thing that finally knocked Zoltana down? Would he have gone vengeance mode on that? Nodding on an audio podcast. Great radio. It's not, it's not to me, is it? <laughs> I, wasn't I, will leave who, this... I wasn't the one who invented that scene. It's I will leave this me. between you and your God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, well, I would say bloody vengeance is now what I'm all about. So <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Okay. All right, then. Um, the night passes as peacefully as it can. A lot of people are recovering. A lot of people are recuperating. The next morning is, it's peaceful. People are actually beginning to celebrate and be happy now. There's been a a solid win. The armies of Bikron are all but the dwarven army, which is going to deal with Kino, and all but the elven army, which is still in a bit of chaos, are kind of here in Falsam. On this morning, do you all have breakfast together? I don't see why not. We assemble all our friends for breakfast. Yeah, I mean, Raw will go to breakfast, but you you find him in a mess. <laughs> like he, he looks. Oh, Raul, I need uh, you to roll. Do forget about that. Um, regardless <laughs> of how the roll goes, there's a bunch of dry blood in the bed, and he's pretty slow to wake up. Yeah. You are an absolute mess. Uh, the, roll uh, a D10, red please. under his eyes is just going to be pretty set in at this point. Yeah, it's much brighter and much a deeper channel than it has been previously. It's close um, to his chin, but maybe not quite there. Yeah. Uh, D10, please. Seven. Okay, another day passes. That probably should have been a disadvantage, though. <sighs> yes, I actually have to agree it's this an time. Eight. <laughs> You're still fine. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool beans. Uh, your uh, exhaustion from yesterday disappears. Woo. Yep. You, you slept this one out. Yeah, we're all just being very quiet. Still noticeably shaken, but, you know, not in, in as much pain. It's definitely processing Caden. Yeah. Um. Okay. Squash, you armed and odd about breakfast? Are you going? Yeah, yeah, Squash goes. He's alive. He could be thankful for that. Mm, Sultana? 
Yeah, definitely. Breakfast. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm all about breakfast. <laughs> Why did I even ask? <laughs> you keep asking uh, me questions, you know, answers to. I know, but sometimes y'all surprise me and do stuff I don't really expect. Uh, so I, I always ask. Um, okay. I assume Damas has to be staying somewhere in the barracks, or does he find somewhere surface level to have stayed? Um, I don't imagine he spent a lot of time surface level, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place he's not really familiar with. Yeah, with people you, who he doesn't, you know. Yeah, you would have been to Falsam a couple of times because of Demi's uh, seat of power here, I guess. But uh, yeah. not not so much. So okay, yeah. um, not so much as a tourist. <laughs> it's. Fairly early in the morning. Um, day 70, by the way, folks. You get woken by like a light touch on your shoulder and your sister is sitting there. She says a single word in Orkish. Gives you a hug. And teleports away. Fuck. <laughs> it's time to play postman. Well then, yeah, I go and find those letters. <laughs> They'd be wherever you stored them, my dude. Mm. I, uh, all thoughts of uh, any kind of celebration. Yeah. I'm not going to say that Demi wouldn't have spent the night drinking with you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that definitely oh, yeah. happened. <laughs> well, I mean like a, a happy breakfast with everyone. You could try and ask her not to go. <sighs> he doesn't have it in him. <laughs> He's okay. asked her not to. He's told her not to. <laughs> okay, fine. And she's a uh, you know, clan mother's privilege. <laughs> She gets to say fuck you on occasion. Um, yeah, he gets up and goes over to his all his kit that's probably just been like chucked off in the corner. Pulls the letters out from uh, from the pile. It's pretty much <laughs> they were like kept underneath his breastplate breastplate in a little leather bag. But you know what? <laughs> that's probably ended up somewhere else. So there we are. Yeah. Takes the bag in here. He gets dressed insofar as Damas ever does. Uh, <laughs> Line cloth. <laughs> well, it's more of the ones of like, most of what he's wearing is technically armour mm-hmm. in most yeah. cases. Yeah. So like, he has trousers and boots and technically everything else is a kind of armour. So yeah, yeah. And he puts on his, his like, you know, his, his like arming jacket and then just doesn't bother doing it up. It's too hot down here anyway. That's very fair. <laughs> uh, it's very easy to find uh, find the people you're looking for. Mm. Uh, they are all conveniently eating breakfast. Yeah. I, I, I follow my nose to the smell of breakfast. <laughs> and, uh, and find the, uh, find the, uh, the victorious bunch. And, uh, as I pass Squash, <laughs> I pay him. <laughs> you pay him? Yeah. You know, he's uh, he's been away for a fair while. <laughs> and he's technically You're an employee. You're giving him money? I pay he's missed him. a few paychecks. Yeah. So How I, much I... do you pay him? Oh, fuck all. Pretty much. Uh, oh, thank God. <laughs> like, I just live from like 10 gold. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> if you were about to say I'm going to give them all of my gold and all of my items, I would fucking kill you. <laughs> oh god, no. no! No, I've got shit to do. Um, I give him ten gold, and uh, actually, I slip ten gold into a fold of paper, and I hand it to him. Okay. Squash like receives the paper and like instantly recognizes the weight of gold hidden, like. <laughs> Like a yeah. million times he's done this to a high pay, but he's just like, <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't know if these papers are marked on the outside at all. Uh, they, they would definitely be in like envelopes and they would normally be sealed, but she'd left them unsealed. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything like written on them sort of thing. Uh, just their names. 
Yeah. Well, actually, the first one I think is the one that you're handing over to Squash is literally just labelled Squash. Mm. And the one to the others is labelled Brave Adventurers. Yeah. Yes, I, I, yes. So I, I hand Squash an envelope that has someone else's handwriting on it. Uh. <laughs> Saying his name. And I uh, just lean in and say, uh, you want to wait with that? Hold on a few. And uh, okay. I, uh, yeah, I walk to the rest of the table. I sort of stand, walk to the head of the table, you know, grab a cup, probably. Oh, that's Shoon Balance is near, uh, sorry, Laughing is near the head of the table. Yeah. <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> He's the one that organised breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't make it. Yeah. I just organised. You, know, you didn't I'm make like, it. You know. Thank God you didn't. Thanks, Otani, yeah. you didn't make it. But yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like you know, you know, do the the you know the standard morning greetings, highness, bloodiness, Ral. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. Dragon Linus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tra- oh, so good. Dracanus. Uh, I've I've been asked to give you this. I just hand over the envelope to, to Lafian. Okay. He takes it and looks at it. I've uh, got other things to pursue. So uh, for now, it's uh, different roads again. So, uh, well, best of luck. See you on the next battlefield. Always. Yeah. He throws out like a weird little orcish salute, which almost looks like he's going to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> but he stops just shortly. Like, yeah. It looks very similar to the punch in the arm that he gave Demi earlier. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I'm going to like give him like a, like a pat on the arm and a nod. Hmm. That's yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, as you, I, I was pretty much betting on like a predator hand. Like, I, like predator no, handshakes. oh my god, yeah, let's do a predator. Let's do a fucking like phallic as shit predator handshake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Let's do yeah. that. Cl- that class. Yeah. <laughs> Our muscles are straining. Yep, yeah. muscles are straining. <laughs> you both cast muscles at each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks like it's going to turn into an arm wrestle, but it's not. No, no. I, I, I'd, I'd wish you good luck, but I kind of hope you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Same back at you. No, you got me on uh, your side. So yeah, <laughs> pretty glad. Um, <laughs> thanks. I think is it's weird how do you talk to a god jesus um i yeah. i don't i don't know i've been i <laughs> even before i was a god i didn't know how to talk to a god now i'm even less sure yeah um i'm a person oh. just like you i just yeah. happen to also have magic powers and will be able to live forever and <laughs> this shit like that so you know that's normal assuming we average. don't fuck up how how would that I mean, phrasing go? Um, I'm just that normal person like she, you. She, she I does like that, like one that, step at a time. That wiggly <laughs> hand gesture. Well, uh, next time I'll buy the beer. All right. <laughs> and yeah, he just walks over to Raoul. Is just like good fight. Leaves. <laughs> Raoul's like trying to take a sip of his drink, but his hands are shaking and he's kind of dribbling it a little bit. <laughs> he's just still. <laughs> It's still shaking. <laughs> you you get like the um you get like the rough uncle pat on the back. Yeah, he gives you that awkward <laughs> like, awkward smile like ha ah, y- yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you two are the only survivors of these five, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And with that, Damas leaves. I look at the thing. Okay. I'm gonna read it first. And then I'll read it out loud after. I can read it out loud. It's it's long and Demi wrote it. So. In case it's a magical spell trap. 
<laughs> read and boom, that everything would be explodes. The, the best way to like make someone read a spell trap is to just put brave adventures on the outside. Like, oh, that's me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's written to the brave adventurers. You guys recall when you arrived in Falsum last that Demi was writing a series of letters and working on a bunch of arcane stuff. You kind of recognise this quick, brash writing. This is what she was writing when you guys were there. All right. <clears throat> Brave adventurers. I can't willfully ignore this access to power right now when we need it so, like us and the world. The orcs need Grimps here talking to them, saving them, leading them. In exchange, Grimps will grant me the spell that means I can send you to Cicero to get Squash. But most importantly, most importantly, means that we can get to the Sentinel plane when the time comes. All you need to do is get Damas to send me like a magical message and I will be there to transport you. Or at least Future Me will be. Or at least this body will be. For sure. I hope. Ah, I get distracted. If you get this, I am not me in some capacity anymore and Damas feels you should have this. And this Demetri blood haunt would never hurt balance. Never so if Demi, Body Hurts Balance, or Ral, or Zortana, or Caden, or Kythea, then know that Demi's spirit would try her best to stop it, and she failed. I mean, it's a god after all, and I can only... I care about all of you, and I'm trying very hard to stay focused right now, and you three just walked in here. Balance. I still want to crack open your brain and see what makes those psychic powers tick, but that would spoil the calm intellect. I know you're an ex-prince, but you have the potential to be so much more than a simple king recited by children in history classes. You should be something more. Be in charge, not because of your blood, not because of who your father is, but because of what you have made of yourself. P.S. Even if future Demi is more like current Demi, she won't ever bow to you because I won't bow to my friends. With friends, it would be awkward. Sultana. Fuck me, you're going to be a goddess, and if I didn't have Grimps whispering in my ear, if I wasn't brought up this way, then I would be the most devout of your followers, even though god magic doesn't really interest me in that way. Don't ever apologise for being angry and vengeful. Some people will try and make you say sorry for that, but I see you, and you're beautiful in a terrifying, I'm going to get my ass handed to me kind of way. I respect that. I would be touched to know that my partner would fight for me, even after I'm gone, in the way that you fight for a debt. I can only wish for love like that, that makes me feel that intense. You're the luckiest, most amazing couple. Perhaps when I'm dead and you're a goddess, we can share the highest of vibes. Ra, you are the bravest person I have ever met. You have more determination in you than anyone realises. Perhaps they look at you and think monster or they think you're weak because you're sick or that all you do is punch and hug. They're wrong and if you think that, you're wrong. You overcome so much and never, never, never stay down. Even though you know that you're going to go down and stay down someday real soon. Apocalypse or not. And that is the most inspiring thing I can think of. Your fighting spirit is inspiring. You're amazing and I hope that you see Ama before you die because you deserve the hug that she is going to give you. All of you, if I'm gone, don't come after me. I did all of this knowingly. Don't bring me back if I'm dead. Don't try and reach the spark inside the puppet of Grumsh that is going to be me. I'm gone and I'm okay with that. Live your lives and do your part in saving the world, and I will do mine, even if that means being Grumpsh's bitch before, during, or after. Damn, my head hurts keeping all of this down and subdued so I can write full, complete sentences in a complete pain in the neck. Well, it's a pain in the head. Well, pain in the head. You all know what pain in the head. Well, apart from Sultana, she knows a pain in the head far worse than any of us because she's like shared a brain space with the elf lady that balanced well, you know. Well, actually, Zoltana knows, but we all know what that is, what I'm trying to say. Demi out. I can't believe that she's done this. Squash. Yes. What are you doing? I think Squash is, like, I'm assuming that, like, Balance probably started reading the ladder out loud and then slowly succeeded to silence and then passed the ladder around. Yeah, pretty much. After Squaw's finished reading through it, he looks at, uh, down at the piece of paper that he has and like turns it over and he sees that it's the same writing style. Yes. Uh, and he opens the thing and he's gonna... Hmm. Squash, for someone who talks so much, I can't seem to say what I need to say to you. 
I hope the GDC wasn't an illusion, that it wasn't just us sharing time, that it wasn't you feeling obligated to talk because I helped cure you. That wasn't just feeling the moment and sharing stories and jokes and opinions and plans with the only other person who was there. I wouldn't blame you if that was how you felt. I'm sometimes a bit much. Then there's a line that's crossed out. I hope when we get you back that... I'm not going to be here when you get back. At least I won't be for long. Although, if I'm honest, we'd be fucking terrible for each other, so let's just forget it. I think I'm going to be the death of you, so that would be the safer option, just forgetting it. I just wanted to say I felt something there. I wrote it, no regrets. Okay, well, some. That elven wine you stole that night, yeah, I think I regret that hangover. Demi out. Oh, and Don, stop hiding yourself in the dark, hoping that the hallucinations and shadows you find there will fill the holes in your soul. They won't. Demetria. While Squash absorbs, what are you three doing? Uh, making a con save when Raw reads it. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. It's a 10. I need you to resolve attack against yourself. 14, so 7. Okay. You take 7 acid damage. Squaz folds the letter back into the envelope and like just kind of leaves the coins that fell out on the table. So what she she gave up or gave in? Am I understanding this correctly? As far as I understand it, she's basically Giving herself in, in a sense, to help the world as a whole. Giving the orcs a means to fight back, giving them their god so that they have someone on their side as well to help in this conflict. Grumsh, the the god of slaughter and destruction. Right. Them is a puppet of that thing now. Sounds that way. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Oh. <sighs> I respect the decision. I mean, let's not like pretend that this doesn't suck though. It does suck. <sighs> so Zoltana's like crying. <laughs> She's gonna be there. She's gonna be there. When we face whatever this thing is, this thing destroying the world. One would assume. She has to. She has to bring us there. She did this to get all of us there. We'll see her again. I've no doubt of that. Mm. Trempel joins the end of your table. He has a similar looking letter in his hand. And he looks up at you all and he says, Well, so, uh, apparently I've got a tale about the witch's moot. Still want to go? Do we have a choice? We made the plans without you, but we also had the plans that included this young lady. So, probably use your help. Then we will help, I assume. Lafian looks at the rest of the group. Squash is like, kind of like picking at his face, constantly like moving his hands to his eyes and eventually just goes like, yeah, yeah. You need to go there. You need to find the heart. All right. So, thing we've got to know. <sighs> Catching day chin. That's the plan, right? Correct. All right. Here's what we got. Hey everyone, it's V. Yeah, that was a that was an episode and a half, I guess. Um, yeah, the big things got dropped this episode. 
big people got lost in Cicero uh, again. Um, hopefully they'll be able to get him out, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. I guess they'll depend on what they want to do next time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for continuing to listen to us. Um, if you want to interact with us a bit more, go check out our Twitter at TLD Pod. Uh, Arch runs that, and there's something going on pretty much every day, and it's it's good and fun, and it's a nice way for us to interact with y'all. So definitely come and do that. Um, we want to say thank you to Joseph Kirkpatrick for being one of our newer patrons. So thank you very much for that. You're about to hear an ad for Nerds on a Roll. You've probably heard them a couple of times. Nerds on a Roll, very cool amazing loved them when they're with us in the spark um so go ahead and continue listening to those if you haven't already all right then folks thanks for listening bye get ready for a new blend of superhero action and drama hey everybody this is lauren from nerds on a roll part of the spark network we're a bunch of superhero geeks playing masks a new generation a game all about social drama and the stress of being a teenager with superpowers (coughs) meanwhile in halcyon city I don't pretend to be a hero. They pay a price for their powers. And I don't want to pay my loved ones my powers. I would gladly have given them back. But I have them now. I have to figure out something to do with them. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged back into the ring. Should have hung those gloves. I punched him in the face. (laughs) When I'm free from this place, I'm going to break you like a twig. By the time I've let you out of that tube, you won't have the will to do so. You can find Nerds on a Roll wherever you get podcasts, and make sure to rate and subscribe.